Hello everyone. My name is Jana Bigvadna. I'm a teacher of English at Kazakh University of Technology and Business. Today, before we start a lesson, let's watch a video. So, what kind of sentences you have read in the video and in what tense? Right, this was present continuous tense. Well, today's theme is present continuous tense. The form of present continuous here illustrated with examples. I am working, you are working, he, she is working, we are working, they are working. So it is verb to be plus ing form. So this is a formulation of the tense present continuous. Verb to be plus ing form. Here you see, yeah? M and ing r, ing is, ing r, ing and r, also ing. So here also the affirmative, negative and the question forms of the sentences. So here the full sentences are illustrated. In the first column, here's the affirmative, positive sentence. I'm working, you're working, he's working, she's working, it's working, we're working, you are working, they are working. And negative form of sentence, I'm not working. So here we just add not between to be and the verb ing. So to be here, I am not working. You are not working. So here's just contraction of are not. He isn't working. She isn't working. It isn't working. We aren't working. You aren't working. They aren't working. How about the question form of sentence? Am I working? We just reverse the to be and the subject of the sentence. If we um, say in the affirmative sense, I'm working, we reverse the um, auxiliary verb am to be here. Am, uh, and we um, hear the question form of the sentence, am I working? Are you working? Is he working? Is she working? Is it working? Are we working? Are you working? Are they working? So when we use a present continuous tense, firstly, 
We use the present continuous tense in temporary actions, actions in progress that is happening now. It means that the action is not completed yet. For example, what are you doing? For the question, what are you doing? We answer like, I am making a sandwich. Here we use the present continuous tense. Uh, if we use here, what do you do? Uh, it, is, uh, it also be correct, but it, is, it means uh, the meaning is different. That is asking about your job, for example, for the question, what do you do? You may, uh, you should uh, answer, I'm a student or I'm a teacher or I work uh, in a center, in a business center, for example. So what do you do? Uh, here, incorrect. Here should be, what are you doing? For the, for the question, I'm making a sandwich. And for the question, what are you doing? We cannot say in a present simple, I make a sandwich. It, it can be incorrect. It's a wrong sentence. It shouldn't be here. We, um, we say, I'm making a sandwich. Or in this example, you look sad. Why are you crying? Here, we can't say, why do you cry? It shouldn't, here it shouldn't be uh, present simple. Here we, we should uh, use present continuous tense. Why are you crying should be correct. Why do you cry? Uh, it's a wrong sentence. Second use of present continuous is progressive change actions that are evolving. For example, I need to go on a diet. I'm getting fatter. Correct. So we cannot say I get fatter. It is incorrect. It is, um, for example, you're getting fatter means that in, uh, in a particular time or period, you're getting fatter and fatter. That's why is it actually evolving. The progress, the progressive changes. The action is changing in a progress. Also, the another example, the climate is getting warmer. Uh, we cannot say like this, the climate gets warmer because the climate is getting warmer and warmer. It's progressive, it's not completed yet, okay? Next one. Uh, we use present continuous tense when we talk about our future plans and arrangements. For the question, what are you doing tonight? We answer, I am going to, uh, we answer, for example, um, I'm going to a disco or I'm going to a house party, for example, yeah? So, uh, we don't use here, what do you do tonight? It, it should be incorrect. We cannot use present simple here. We use the present continuous tense for our future plans. So we are planning something, uh, doing some act uh, activity, uh, actions tonight. That is why we use present continuous tense. Another example, I am going to Italy next week. So also here's a plan for the next week. So you are going to Italy. Uh, it should be incorrect, like I go to Italy next week. We can't use here present simple tense. What bar are we going to for drinks tomorrow? Also, here is a future arrangement, yeah? Maybe some uh, friends uh, have plans for drinks and they're asking for uh, themselves. What bar are we going to for drinks tomorrow. We cannot here say, what bar do we go for drinks tomorrow? It, can, it should be incorrect, it's a wrong sentence. 
We also use present continuous tense with, uh, when we talk about physical feelings, when we describe the feelings of human, yeah, physical feelings. Uh, how are you feeling? If we ask, and also we can use um, the present simple tense, how do you feel? So both uh, can be correct. How are you feeling and how do you feel? With physical feeling, physical feelings, we use also both present continuous tense and the present simple tense. My tooth is hurting, or you can say my tooth hurts, or my head is aching, my head aches. So both can be correct in this situation. So here you can see the difference between present simple and present continuous. So present, uh, present continuous, we use uh, something that is only temporary, that is not completed. Something is happening right now, at this moment. Arrangement in the future, that is the plans, yeah? A change that takes place over a period of time. How about the present simple? Uh, present simple use uh, when something is generally true or fact. And when something is a habit or happens regularly. That is, for example, your daily routine. Daily routine. Timetable event in the future. Um, that is scheduled event in the future, not the arrangement in the future. So this is a difference. So here is a plans for the future, and here is a scheduled event that is happens every, for example, Wednesday, every weekend, every year, for example, this kind of thing. And stative verbs, uh, for example, like, remember, know, love, with such kind of exceptions, yeah, such kind of verbs we use uh, only present simple tense. So here are some exercises to practice simple or continuous tense. So here is uh, some sentences and uh, we have um, a verb in the brackets. You have to use it either in the simple tense or uh, in the continuous tense. For example, in the first sentence, look, he leave the house. So what kind of tense should be here? Yes, this continues. Look, he's leaving the house. Because the hint is look, yeah? It means it is uh, happening now. The action is not completed now. The action is doing right now. The action is happening right now. So other uh, sentences you have to do yourself. I'll give you five minutes to write it down and send me by email. Thank you for today. See you next week. The lesson is over.